Sexual Reproduction in Plants In this module, you will learn how sexual reproduction takes place in flowering plants. It is spring season. Flowers are blooming on the trees. It is indeed a beautiful sight. Flowers attract all of us. They are the most beautiful part of the plant, isn't it? You already know that flowers are not present only to add beauty to the plant. They are in fact the reproductive part of the plant. In the flower, stamen is the male reproductive part while carpal is the female reproductive part. Some flowers contain both male and female reproductive parts. Such flowers are called bisexual flowers. For example, pea, china rose, etc. On the other hand, some flowers possess either the male or the female reproductive parts. Such flowers are called unisexual flowers. For example, corn, cucumber, etc. Now let us know about the different parts that make up a stamen and a carpal. A stamen is made of two main parts, anther and filament. The anther produces pollen grains. It is the pollen grain that contains the male gametes. A carpal on the other hand is made up of three parts. The terminal part is called the stigma. The middle elongated part is the style and the swollen bottom part is the ovary. Inside the ovary, ovules are present. It is the ovule that has the female gamete called the egg cell. For sexual reproduction to take place, a male gamete is to be fused with the female gamete, thereby forming a zygote. Now for that, the male gametes have to reach the female gametes. For this, first a pollen grain carrying the male gametes is transferred from the stamen of a flower to the stigma of the same or the other flower. Such transfer of pollen grains is known as pollination. If the pollen grain of a flower lands on the stigma of the same flower, it is called self-pollination. But if the pollen grain of a flower lands on the stigma of another flower of the same or another plant of the same type, it is called cross-pollination. Pollination occurs with the help of different agents like wind, water or animals. Once a pollen grain reaches the stigma of a suitable flower, a tube grows from the pollen grain. This tube travels through the style and reaches the ovary. The male gamete from the pollen travels in this tube and reaches to the female gamete present in the ovule of the ovary. After that, the male and the female gamete fuse together to form the zygote. This process of fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. The zygote formed after the fertilization then divides several times to form an embryo inside the ovule. The ovule develops a tough coat and changes to a seed. The ovary on the other hand ripens and forms a fruit around the seed. At this time, the other parts of the flower, like the sepals and petals, fall off. So, a seed present inside a fruit contains an embryo, which is actually a baby plant. Each time a seed is planted in soil and provided appropriate conditions, it grows into a seedling, which then grows into a new plant. Let's recap. A flower is a reproductive part of the plant. The male reproductive part of a flower is stamen and the female reproductive part of the flower is carpal. In a unisexual flower, both stamen and carpal are present. In a bisexual flower, either stamen or carpal is present. The transfer of pollen grains from the stamen to the stigma of a flower is called pollination. Pollination can be self-pollination or cross-pollination. Fusion of male gamete and the female gamete to form a zygote is called 
fertilization. A seed contains an embryo, which is a baby plant.